Greetings folks, your friendly neighborhood Rictus Gate here with a video for Bruce Shepard, aka Stigma Dane, aka Raven Wolf, aka Spanky the Monkey. I like that one. Uh, he put a video up and I think he either private it, took it down, whatever it is. Um I was able to snag it off the tubes before he did so. But it's called uh Say Beach or J Beach. And Rictus Gate have ass cheek blinders on. I like that title, catchy. So Say Beach is um heavy traffic ahead. That's his new channel. His other one got flagged straight down the tubers. So since this has my name in it, I, I thought I might play it and give you my thoughts, Bruce. It's fairly short, so let's play it and uh as we go, I'll give you my thoughts. You know what? Sabich and Rick this gate too. You know what? You're both blinded by the truth. Be I'll chalk that one up to you being passionate. Blinded by the truth. Sounds like being confused by the facts. We'll just chalk that up to you just being very passionate. Which you are. I can appreciate that. That's fine. It's great. Because your asses are like covering your face. Because you got your face embedded in your fucking asses. That's why you fucking can't see what the fuck's going on. Torment. What's going on? I guess this is where we're going to find out what's going on. Because I don't know what's going on. Thing, yeah. Psychologically tormenting religious people is what these... Um... I don't know. Personally, me, I'm speaking only of myself in this video. I don't speak for any atheist. I don't speak for atheism. Nothing. This is me. Just me, okay? Uh, I don't. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> the reason why I do comment, ask questions, whatever it is, is not to uh, instigate, to poke fun at to troll, or anything like that. These are genuine questions I have in my mind. Genuine questions about things that I think about at times. And obviously you have thought about them. We have come to different conclusions on these things. So I ask questions wondering, okay, well how did you come to a different conclusion than I did? It's That's it. I am more than open to the idea that there might be some kind of deity, god, whatever it might be. I, I'm open to that. I have yet to um, have my intellectual honesty satisfied enough to say that, yeah, I believe I have faith in a god. I, sorry, it has to take a leap of faith to do that. Uh, it's, it's not hassling people. It's not psych psychological torture asking questions. Sometimes, yes, I can be an asshole when push comes to shove. Sometimes I can be very pointed when push comes to shove. But most of the time, I'm trying to be actually, hey, look at this. Hey, have you thought about this? Hey, uh, I, I have this question here. Because you are one who is convinced. So I am not. So I'm wondering, like I said, what's the trigger? Other than faith. Other than just saying, you know, just say there is. You know, like, other than that. Fucking atheist asshole trolls are fucking doing. I'm not an asshole troll. I'm an asshole. That's what they're fucking doing when they troll them, antagonize them, and harass them, and fucking just say... I'll agree with you. There are many atheists out there like that, just as there are many theists, many human beings out there like that, that are just assholes. For the sake of being assholes, I am not one of those. Okay. My questions seem hard, difficult, psychologically torturous, and I hope you don't have any children because they're going to ask questions as well. They're going to ask questions as well. You might get some psychological torture from them. All these fucking lies. And you know what, Rick Disgate? Fucking lies, no. Wow, I'm sorry. That's... I wish you motherfuckers, especially you personally, Me personally, would shut the fuck up and butt the fuck. 
He's referring to some comments that I've made, which are, I guess, you know, asshole-ish, troll-ish in a way. Where I, I, I've said that, you know, hey, fine, religious, faithful, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, great, awesome, go and uh, dish out the soup. Go and hand out the blankets. Go and help the needy. Go and uh, just help those people. But when it comes to morals and ethics and other such things, leave it to other realms. Shut the fuck up. So he's referring to that. And I can understand his reaction to that. I mean, that's pretty pointed. But that's how I feel. Um, that's honestly how I feel. Out because you are one of the dumbest motherfuckers that I have ever met. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Honestly, you are one of the dumbest fucking atheists there are. Yeah, I can't be stupid. Are. Because every fucking time you make some kind of stupid bullshit comment, we gotta fucking explode. Okay. Yes, I, I I agree. Sometimes I can be obtuse and dumb. Yeah, I agree. But I am willing to uh, admit that and to seek out the ways to be less so. Um... <sighs> I watched uh, a hangout the other a little while ago with G-Man and some atheist named Tim and uh, Christopher Mounty was there as well and there's a few other people and you Bruce joined in at the end and Tim was trying to explain a concept of um, correlation does not necessarily equal causation kind of thing that's kind of fallacy and he was given an example and you couldn't just shut up for a second. You wanted to interrupt him so much, so much so, so much so. He was trying to explain this very, very simple example of what a possible correlation equals causation could look like. And you were so strident in wanting to demonstrate how ignorant you are. I'm sorry. But it was funny. It was laughable because you said, oh, no, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's a category error. No, dude. Like, just because he's an atheist and that's the only reason why you are getting, you are a bigot, my friend, a bigot. Because he's an atheist, you obviously, uh, and well, sorry, well, I must say that when you joined in on the thing, you, you right away said that. This atheist was strong-arming the whole conversation, which is a total fucking lie. Because G-Man, <laughs> he's lucky that this atheist had so much patience with that little turd, G-Man. That man, that, 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 he's not a man, that other human. So please don't, okay? It, it's just amazing to me. This is... You go on in your video here to talk about stiggy baiting. How about atheist baiting? Because once again, you now... It, okay, another example. You've come out with a video. You're, if you're offended by the truth, seek some help. In which you start this whole faith equals... Faith of religion is the same as faith as science and faith... Dude, like, it's a broken fucking record already. Or it must be a cyclical thing, like age and doubt said. It's a cyclical thing. It just comes around, here it is again, oh, here it is again. Anyways. I to you how you're fucking wrong because you're too stupid and you don't even understand it. You're too fucking stupid to fucking realize it. There you go. I'm too stupid to fucking realize it. Now, I watched a bit of the beginning of this other video of his, if you're offended by the truth, seek some help. Oh, and he goes, Bruce, you, you... Right out of the gate. I'm sorry. This is the way my mind works. But you're talking about, okay, let's say we know 1% of what there is to know in the universe. And we as uh, non-believers or ones who are not uh, convinced of a God, you say, well, how do you know it's not in the rest of the 99% that we don't know? Yeah, that might be true. It might be. That's the thing. I, as Personally, this is me personally speaking, that might be very well true. 
But at the same time, you 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 um, really get upset with uh, atheists because you feel they're so pompous and so certain and all this kind of stuff. Yet, okay, at the same time, within this pittance of 1%, you claim to know for certain that this god does exist. Do you, do you comprehend this? Do you understand? <laughs> it boggles my mind, dude. It boggles my fucking mind. Anyways, I I had to get this off my chest because it's... It drive me nuts with your atheist baiting. Coming out with a name, statement, solid comments. And when people ask you questions, just ask you questions. Like I asked you a question about... Well, uh, all the other gods, what about all these other gods that might be possible? How come it's just your god in particular? What about all the other gods? And you get all upset. No, it's 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 an actual question, dude. It's an actual thing to contemplate. Otherwise, you have to do a brain dump and forget everything that you really want to know, like I do. Which is what I would have to do. I would have to do a massive brain dump in order to... To take this leap of faith and just say, yes, there is a God. I'm not willing to. I'm not willing to say there is no God. I'm not willing to say there is a God. But I'm willing to live my life as if there is no God. Because it seems to be going so far, so fine. And the progress of the natural and the methodological, uh, of the sci method methods of science have brought to us compared to what faith and religion has done well makes me want to ask well, what have you done for late, me lately like seriously not to be selfish or anything like that but i am about humanism whereas i know that religion is de facto anti-human i know that i'm sorry that's not a twisting of any religious doctrine whatsoever that is that is the crux of it Anyways, I'm kind of done um, with this video. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this quick little queep from Bill Cosby. And I hope you understand what I'm alluding to here. Uh, don't take his um, use of the word brain damage too seriously. I don't mean that at all. But take the principle of the thing to heart because it's really atheist baiting. It's what you're doing. I don't know whether you just like it. You like being abused. Because there are uh, people who do abuse you. And I'm sorry for that. That sucks. But I hope I'm not one of them. And if you consider me one of them, hey, let's get together and talk about it and figure it out. Because we've gotten together and talked previously. And it's been quite amicable. In fact, you've won me to your side on one point at one time. <clears throat> but you keep on forgetting that. Anyways, I'll leave you with Bill. Salute.